Hi, I'm Vladimir. You're watching the Beamer Dog channel. Today's video is about how to properly maintain your BMW. I will show how to change the oil, oil filter and all other filters in your BMW. You might think, why well, you have to do it by yourself? Because third-party workshop can charge you a lot of money for the basic procedure you can do it by yourself. And believe me, if you're doing it by yourself, you'll make it way better. For a better convenience, I have created time code in the video and divided the video into different topics. So if you're interested in changing, for example, only the fuel filter, you don't have to see the full video, you can skip all the other parts and, for example, go straight to the fuel filter, oil filter or whatever other part of maintenance needed. Hey guys, before going to the topic of the video, can I ask you a favor? If that's not the first video on my channel you're watching and you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that and also hit a like if you do, do like my videos. Thank you. You have obviously heard the expression that it's way easier to prevent the problem than to deal with that. And that's why maintaining the vehicle at the right time with the right components is just critical. Obviously, you are not changing the oil just because to change it. That's a very critical part of your engine and believe me, majority of the errors with the engine will come due to the wrong oil change. How often do you have to change your engine oil? BMW recommends to change the engine oil every 30,000 kilometers or every second year. If you do want to break a vehicle, break your engine and not maintain it properly, you can do it in that way. Why BMW recommends such a huge interval? Because when your vehicle is on the warranty, uh, the vehicle can easily travel 100,000 kilometers with the oil change every 30,000 and there will be no problems with the engine because it's brand new. If you do care about your engine and your vehicle in general, you have to change engine oil more frequently. Based on my experience and experience of independent workshops, it is recommended to change the engine oil every 10,000 kilometers and no more or even less. If you will google a bit or talk with whatever mechanic who is dealing with the engines daily, he'll tell you that the engines that are maintained properly so the oil is changed every 10,000 kilometers are in well better shape than those who are maintained according to the BMW recommended intervals or every 30,000. Just believe me or you can do your own research. So now we know that it is recommended to change the engine oil every 10,000 kilometers. With the engine oil it's recommended to use the engine oil that is according to your engine. So for the specifications just type the model of your BMW and your engine into the Google and it will tell you what engine oil is recommended. In today's video we will be working with that G30. It has 3 liter diesel engine. It is B57 and it's recommended to use Shell Helix Ultra 5W30. Of course together with the engine oil we have to also change the oil filter. With the filters, my recommendations every time you change the engine oil, absolutely every time do change also the fuel filter. What brand to use? You can use original BMW one or whatever other brand. It is uh, not recommended to use the cheapest one. Is it reasonable to buy always the uh, most expensive? Uh, also not. You can choose the middle range but change them regularly. That will be way more efficient than to use the top brand and run with your engine for example those 30,000 kilometers. After changing the oil filter, of course, we, have, we will have to change the fuel filter. The fuel filter looks like that one. It is located under your car and access to that is not as easy, but we will manage that, no problem. Very critical part of your vehicle is air filter for the engine. There are different types of filters available, we will use uh, that kind. And in addition to oil, fuel and air filter for the engine. We also have two filters, those called cabin filters uh, for the climate. So uh, those are filtering the air you are breathing in. And now let's go straight to the procedure of oil change and changing all the other filters. As I said in the beginning of the video, use the time code if you see that whatever topic is not necessary for you. But believe me, in every topic I will share my experience with you according to changing all those small details, how you can make it properly. Before changing the engine oil, you have to know two parameters. The first, what type of engine oil goes into your engine and also what amount of engine oil is needed. If you, if you are not sure about those parameters, just Google your car brand and for example oil capacity and it will show you 
on that specific engine that's b57 we know that we need 6.5 liters of engine oil the second parameter is the type of engine oil you can see always the type of the engine oil on the canister itself for bmw you have to use the standard bmw lima lima 04 or bmw lima lima 01 exact type depends of the region of the world you're operating in for example for europe it will be 04 and for the us it will be 01 to make the video shorter let's go straight to the point first you need to drain your oil somehow there are actually two ways how to do that under the car there is a special screw in the oil pan of the engine you can screw it out and the oil will come out of the engine the second option is through the oil measuring stick that option is not correct at all because in that way you will not take out all the oil so we'll see only the option number one to drain the oil from the oil pan you have to remove that plastic cover on different BMWs it's done differently on some it's screwed with one screw on the newer one it's not screwed at all and over here you can see the screw of the oil pan the wrench you have to use it depends which type I have uh, modified and that screw over there, that's why it's a red color. On your BMW, it will be all, uh, obviously the gray one. Just carefully unscrew that and engine oil will start coming out. It is very dirty job. Be careful, remove and the oil will uh, start going off the engine. So remember I told you I have modified uh, oil pan cap uh, it's a uh, modified one. Why? Because over here it's a strong magnet while engine is working if whatever friction is present there and you can see all the uh, metal parts that are coming from the engine during, during its work are being collected here. Also, while changing the oil it is very good to have the special cap. I have purchased it from the Aliexpress. Uh, if there is too many metal parts present there it means that something is wrong with your engine and you have to make a more proper diagnostic of the engine. While oil is dipping out of the engine, we can open the oil uh, cap and also we'll change the oil filter during the oil is coming out of the engine. On different engines, the oil filter is located in different parts. On that engine, it's located over there. You have to remove that plastic cover. On older BMWs, it is screwed with the screws. On newer ones, you can just unplug that. that uh, cap that's meant for the oil. I recommend you to leave it open, but always cover the uh, hole that goes into the engine. Otherwise, you might just by mistake uh, spill something there, and that's definitely not good for engine. Let's take out the oil filter. That's the oil filter. I always do recommend take it off and on the bright sun or with using the flashlight, open up the filter a bit so you can see if any metal parts are present there. If there is any metal, it will shine. As you can see, the engine is in very good shape. You don't see any shiny parts there. It means that it's all okay with that engine. Before tearing apart the old filter, I always do recommend open up the new one and visually do compare those because if by mistake the workshop or whatever place who have sold you the filter has uh, mixed something up with the size of the filter, it will not work. So you can see the diameter is the same, length is the same, the construction looks exactly the same one, it means we are good to go. Now we can throw away the old filter. With the new filter there always comes the rubber sealing. That sealing goes over here to the cup of the oil filter and also the copper gasket. That gasket goes to the nut uh, that is closing the oil pan. Always do change both of those. 
I always do recommend to use some engine oil to lubricate all the seals. Just put some engine oil and with your bare hands or with the rubber gloves you can spread all the oil e uh, evenly. That will allow the, all those caps and filters to be uh, sealed properly and that uh, oil gasket will not go off its place. Putting in new oil filter, remember my talk about the rubber gaskets. Always do lubricate those properly, one and the second one. In that way they will go exactly to the place they have to go. And attach everything back in the order you have disassembled it. It's time to put the filter back to the engine and it is important. 25 Newton meters is the force you have to close the filter. Why with that force? Because it's made of plastic. If you use not enough force, it might be not sealed properly. If you use too much force, you might just break it. <laughs> and making it 25 Newton meters. Remember, always all the new gaskets, the copper one also. It is very common mistake that after dipping out the oil, you're making all the maintenance, you're starting to put in the new oil, but if you forgot to use that cap, all the new oil will come out of the oil pan, so don't forget to close it. Now it's time to put in the fresh engine oil. We have capacity of that engine oil carter of 6.5 liters that is 5 liters so we need to put the whole that canister and one half liter more remember I told 6, six and a half liters how do I recommend to do? I have the canister of one liter, there is half liter remaining. I'll put that on one liter, then from the bigger canister I will fill up the small one with exactly one liter of engine oil. In that way you will not miscalculate with the amount of engine oil. New oil is in, we can close the cap, put that to the side, and if you do have oil stick always control how many oil you have inserted into the engine if you do have that before starting the engine because if there's not enough engine oil or it's too much of that you can always do something with that and in the oil stick you can see it's right between there you can see it's very light oil the amount of oil from that from minimum to maximum is exactly one liter so it's exactly between there so it is perfect amount of oil for that engine that's it with the engine oil we have checked the amount of engine oil on the cold engine i always do recommend to do the same on the hot engine before you go somewhere very far away for a travel location or whatever because uh, if the amount of oil in the engine is wrong you'll just ruin the engine so Start your engine, heat it up and check the oil level again. On new BMWs, checking the engine oil can be done from inside of the car while engine is running. If you do use your oil measuring stick, the dipstick, the engine has to be off and it has to be hot. So when the engine is at operating temperature, turn off the engine, uh, let the car still for about 5 minutes so the oil, the oil can go down to the proper value and then you can take out the uh, dipstick and check the uh, oil level. That will be the proper way of measuring the engine oil. Now it's time to change the air filter. How often do I recommend to change the air filter? Do I have to do it every time or not? I do not do it every oil change, I do it every second oil change. So if I change my oil every how often? Yes, correct, 10,000 kilometers. To be honest, I'm changing the, my engine oil not based on the kilometers, but based on the motor engine operating hours. So I do change my engine oil every 200 hours. 
you might ask, why some kind of engine operating hours, why not kilometers? Because changing based on the operating hours is way more professional. Yes, you cannot see the engine operating hours inside your car, but with the ISTA diagnostic software, you can do that easily. If you're interested in that kind of video, just write a comment about that and I'll show you how you can be more professional while maintaining your car. Why exactly 200 hours of engine working? Uh, it's very easy. If you do travel and your average speed is around 50 km per hour, in the town it will be less, on the highway it will be higher, so average speed will be something between 40 and 50. So in 200 hours your distance of travel will be exactly 10,000 km. Why it is way more professional to change the oil based on operating hours, not the kilometers traveled? Because if you are sitting in the traffic jam in the bigger town, is your engine working? Yes. Is your mileage increasing? No. So that's why if you're changing your oil only based on the kilometers traveled, it is wrong. Not completely wrong, but it's definitely not the right one. So be more professional and change according to the operating hours. Second very important element of your engine and maintaining your engine is changing the air filter. Air filter location might be different on different type of engines, but if you do see your air filter, the shape of that, you can see under the hood and you can, might estimate where it can be located. In our case, it is located in that place under that plastic cover. Uh, Torx T25 is needed to unscrew all the screws and just replacing the air filter. There is nothing uh, difficult about that job, just unscrew all the screws and change the filter. I will just fast forward that process. Remove the air filter, I have unscrewed all the screws. There is no need to take off the oxygen sensor or uh, that pipe over here, but you can see that on per that particular car, that element of the body is not allowing us to lift the cover high enough, so I need to remove that also. It might be not needed on uh, other type of the vehicles. Always do check all the filters you take out. As you can see, that one is pretty clean. That air filter has traveled 400 operating hours of the engine. The air filter of the engine has been changed, as you have seen, it is even more easier than changing the engine oil, it takes way less time, but that's the second very important part of maintaining your engine. One interesting fact about how your engine do operate, did you know that your engine consumes 14.7 parts of air per one part of fuel being burned? It means that if you burn one liter of fuel, your fuel filter has filtered only one liter of diesel or gasoline, your air filter has filtered 14.7 times more the air. It means that even if you can't see it with your eye, but the air filter of your engine is very critical part, as all filters do, but uh, oil and air is the most important. We have finished under the hood of this car. We have remaining two filters, the saloon filter for the air you're breathing in, not your engine, and the fuel filter. I always prefer to change the saloon filter first and the fuel filter the last one, because while changing the fuel filter, the diesel or gasoline, everything comes out and you're being dirty and nasty after that, so it's not good to work inside your car after you have been together with the diesel. By the way, on the modern BMWs, those who use gasoline, not the diesel, there is no fuel filter in the car. 
actually the fuel filter is built into the uh, fuel pump that's located in your tank so on the gasoline uh, BMWs you don't have to change your fuel filter it's lifetime but on the diesel ones you do have to on the G30 uh, the air filter is located inside the car so it's down there you have to go there and just change it on some older cars like E series for example E90 the air filter is located under the hood while working inside of the car I always do recommend to use the clean set of the tools not the ones you are working with the engine transmission or whatever uh, rest because it's impossible to clean all the tools from the oil and the dirt so you can work inside the car to assess the filter you have to remove one cover there is nothing special about that there are just a couple of those things you just turn them off and you can remove that cover there is a light built in and just unplug it there is uh, nothing special about that the air filter is located over there so you just go down there you can see uh, those torque screws you have to unscrew them you can remove that plastic part and change the filters now take out all filters the two of those for left and right right side accordingly and insert the new ones it is very impo important not to mismatch the direction of the airflow. On the side of the filter, there will be written the direction of the airflow, as you can see. So flow in that way. So if the previous filter was inserted in that way, so it means the air is coming from the car and goes into your saloon. So do not mismatch that direction. And we have done with the job inside the car the air filter has been changed now let's go to change the fuel filter and now my least favorite part about maintaining my bmw is changing the fuel filter why because while changing your procedure you'll be all over spilled with the diesel and that's not funny at all but one very good thing about bmws i have owned all bmws starting from e39 it's e39 e60 f10 and that's now g30 all five series and maintaining all my cars by my own I see how BMW engineers with every chassis they make the parts fit better assess easier and so on and so on so I can see the good development of the product by my eye because fuel filter is located under the car we have to go under the car to make that job properly let's go so our fuel filter for diesel engine looks like that one it is located under the car under the driver you have to remove either that plastic part or that part because the fuel filter is located over there. I'll just remove those, there's nothing special about that and you can see the exact location of the fuel filter. You don't have to remove all the plastic trim, you have to remove the middle one, that's the biggest one. Just unscrew all the screws and you can remove that. And now you'll have access to the fuel filter, it's located under that part over there. Also unscrew a couple screws and you can just make enough space for you to access the right part. And this is location of our fuel filter. If this, this is our uh, left front wheel and the fuel filter is located under the car, under the driver place. Taking that out, actually it's kind of easy. You have to just unplug that uh, green plug over there and the same part from the side and you can remove the fuel filter. If you are unsure how some parts should come off, you can see by the construction of another part, we can see one more screw over here. If you unscrew that, then you should be able to, we are rotating the fuel filter, take that off. So we have already released the front part, but the rear part is still stuck. There is one screw in that exact location. You have to unscrew it and then you can rotate the fuel filter and take that off. As I told you, from the old fuel filter, the diesel will start coming out. We don't need that filter anymore, but we still do need that uh, white plastic thing. That's the holder of the fuel filter. So just remove that and you can throw
throw away the old filter. No parts are needed from that anymore. So assembling all back together in exactly the same order. So be aware the fuel system is very sensitive to all the dust, uh, derbies and so on. That's why do not remove any caps from the fuel, fuel system before the assembling. So just put all together, remove the final caps and assign everything back. So it is very sensitive to all the dust. Now the fuel filter has been assembled back, but it's very important before putting back all the covers to check if the fuel system is hermetical, so it's not leaking. How to do that? Before starting the engine, just go turn on the ignition and wait for two minutes. While that, uh, the fuel pump will start pumping the fuel. All the uh, fuel system will be bleeded out from the air bubbles and everything. And after that, you can just start the car. Uh, let the car work for, I don't know, 50 to 30 seconds and just go down there under the vehicle and see if the fuel is not leaking because leaking fuel is definitely not a good idea. So now I'm upstairs inside the car. On the F series or G series, you have to turn on the ignition. On F series, just press twice. On G series, you press three times. One, two, three, quickly. At the stop, stop button. Uh, while that process, the fuel pump will uh, bleed the system automatically. Just wait for 30 seconds and when that time has passed, try to start your engine and see if the fuel is leaking or not. As you can see, the engine is working. The start was a bit hard because there was not enough fuel inside the system. That's totally okay. If the engine is working unstable as it was at the moment, you can see uh, the air is coming out, so bleeding system is automatic on BMWs. Now we can stop the engine and see if there are any leaks of fuel present there or not. If they are not present, then we have finished. So now we have maintained the car properly. We have changed the oil, we have changed the oil filter, we have changed the air filter for the engine, we have changed the saloon filters and also have changed the fuel filter. Actually, there is one more procedure remaining. As you can see, I'm all covered with the uh, diesel. The smell is just irresistible here, so it's a good time to go to the nightclub. But to be honest, after making all those services, there is two things remaining to do. Inside your car, the uh, car computer is calculating uh, the remaining distance of the oil change. That's why you have to reset that. I will not show that for you how to do that uh, with your means without any computers in this video. If you're interested in that, leave that mark in the comment and I will make a video about that soon. Also on new cars inside the head unit the service history is written and of course you can manually adjust it also with the help of the computer. That's not the topic of the, today's video because today's video was about the physical maintenance of your car, not how to write all those services inside your car. That might be also another topic for the video for the future. Thank you for seeing that video till then. I really hope you do like that. If you did like it, so press the like button and see you next time. Bye.